Be it the first lady or your neighbor down the street, you likely know someone who has contracted COVID in the last week. Hospitalizations and deaths are continuing to rise. The rate of positive tests in the last week is 14% in California, the fifth highest since the pandemic began. And yet there are some signs, some positive signs as well. Crown Force Dan Kerman here in the studio with those details. Dan. Well, those positive signs are that the new vaccine should be approved and available within the next two weeks. And studies are showing it works quite well with the current variants. The COVID summer surge continues across the nation with the CDC reporting weekly COVID hospitalizations up more than 15% and deaths up more than 10% nationally. And though it's significantly lower than a year ago at this time, there's still reason it's ticking up. In hot places, people are spending more time indoors. There's a lot of travel over the summer. Uh, people's immunity from, if your immunity came from an infection a year or two ago, it has waned. If your immunity came from a booster a year or two ago, it has waned. Um, and there are some new variants that are a little bit more infectious and a little bit more immune evasive than what existed before. That's why word the updated COVID vaccine is expected to be approved within days and available within the next couple of weeks is good news, especially for those most at risk. The booster looks like it's going to match up very well with those strains that are circulating, so it should give us very good protection. Even the one we've heard a lot about recently, um, uh, BA.2.86, even that one, it looks like the, the booster is going to be give us a good advantage against it. The CDC will decide who's eligible for the new vaccine, and while medical experts agree those 65 and over, those immunocompromised, and those with underlying conditions should be first in line, they say it's something everyone should consider. The benefits of the vaccine outweigh the risks in pretty much everyone. And unless you have had a booster in the last three to six months or been infected in the last three or four months, uh, I think the benefits of it outweigh the risks. For now, though, doctors say those most at risk should consider taking extra steps to protect themselves while COVID is ticking up. If you're going to be crowded indoors with other people, put that mask on. If you're going to be in situations where you're going to be traveling, for example, in a plane or on a train with lots of other people, just wear a mask. It just helps obviate problems. The weather's still really nice out. If you're going to dine, dine outdoors. Avoid being indoors with lots of people. Now, the FDA could approve the new vaccine as early as tomorrow, with the CDC signing off as early as next Tuesday. Live in the newsroom and here in the studio, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News. Back All right, guys. Dan.